woman having mental breakdown can't be cured until her doctor asks her to draw a clock. At just 24 years old, Susanna Cahalan was admitted to the hospital for insanity and was about to be in the middle of what felt like a losing battle. Until one day, when one doctor looked a little closer at her symptoms and realized her erratic behavior was a result of a very rare disease that others failed to notice. With a job at the New York Post and six months into a new relationship, 2009 was looking to be a year full of bliss for Susanna Cahalan. However, the young woman's future was about to take a shocking turn that would change her life forever. Unfortunately, Cahalan's future looked anything but blissful as she began to experience random, unexplainable sensations throughout her body. She had no idea that her life was about to be put on hold for an illness she wasn't aware she had. As a mysterious sensation took over her body, Cahalan wondered if her strange feeling was caused by bedbugs and decided to call an exterminator. However, this was quickly ruled out when the exterminator found zero evidence of an infestation in her home. As time went on, Cahalan became plagued with paranoia, hallucinations, and seizures. These episodes became so frequent and severe that the 24-year-old couldn't go to work anymore. As a result of the seizures, Cahalan was becoming lethargic and feeling extremely distressed. But the young woman couldn't explain why she was feeling and acting the way she was. After seeking medical help, Cahalan was hospitalized at New York University Hospital for further tests. However, soon after being admitted, Cahalan became progressively violent with the staff. The 24-year-old quickly stopped acting like her usual self and became enraged with everyone that came into contact with her, leaving her friends and family to feel threatened. Years later, Cahalan would remember this period of her life as something from a zombie movie. The doctors in the hospital suspected that Cahalan was suffering from a mental breakdown. They believed that her uncharacteristic behavior and symptoms of aggression supported their diagnosis. Doctors planned on transferring Cahalan to a psychiatric facility where psychologists could analyze her behavior further. However, before she left, one doctor came to review her case and made an unusual suggestion that would finally start to answer a lot of questions. Dr. Sewell Najjar was determined to take a closer look at Cahalan's condition and didn't want to assume it was just a mental breakdown. He was convinced that there was an underlying issue that was causing her aggressive behavior. Although Cahalan's issue did appear to be related to her mental state, Dr. Sewell Najjar wasn't satisfied with her condition being passed off as a nervous breakdown. He was determined to get to the root of the cause. Dr. Najjar asked Cahalan to perform one simple task that would affirm all his suspicions about her condition. He had a theory about what the 24-year-old was really suffering from and needed this one test to confirm it. The task at hand was for Cahalan to draw a simple clock. However, as Dr. Najjar suspected, it wasn't that simple for her to draw at all. As soon as she put pen to paper, his suspicions were confirmed. Dr. Najjar had finally been able to explain Kahalan's change in behavior. Instead of being diagnosed with insanity, the young woman's symptoms turned out to be the result of a rare disease of the brain that was affecting her mental faculties. The terrifying disease caused inflammation on Kahalan's brain which led her body's white blood cells to attack her brain. This activity ultimately caused brain damage that triggered aggressive psychosis. The clock that Cahalan drew for Dr. Najjar showed all of its numbers on the right-hand side, while the left was completely blank. This one test confirmed significant brain damage to Dr. Najjar. According to Dr. Najjar, Cahalan's image of a clock with no numbers on the left proved that she had significant brain damage. Finally, the doctor was making progress and Cahalan and her family were getting some answers. Soon, Dr. Najjar was able to diagnose Susan Cahalan with anti-NMDA receptor encephalitis, a rare condition which causes the immune system's antibodies to attack the brain. After being diagnosed with this rare disease, Cahalan learned that she was facing death if her condition was left untreated. Dr. Najjar's determination and quick thinking ultimately saved her life. The rare disease is known to be fatal if left untreated, with around 20% of sufferers passing away from complications. Fortunately, Cahalan received life-saving treatment, which included a steroid drip to fight the white blood cells from attacking the brain. After just one month in hospital, Cahalan was cured. Once she was fully recovered, Cahalan wrote a detailed book about her experience with the rare disease, 
She hopes that by bringing awareness to the condition, she can help others who are suffering to not be cast aside and labeled as simply having a nervous breakdown. After her book, Brain on Fire, was published in 2012, it was adapted into a movie starring Chloe Grace Moretz as Susanna Cahalan in 2016. Today, you can catch the thrilling yet awe-inspiring movie on Netflix. Susanna Cahalan continues to share her story with the world by speaking on public platforms about her experience with the rare disease. She hopes that by talking about it, she can save someone who is suffering from the same illness but doesn't know it yet. Cahalan is one of the 15% of people who recover from the rare condition, but she still suffers severe cognitive defects. First discovered in 2007, the disease is believed to be most common in young women. While 30% of cases are associated with ovarian tumors, the cause of the disease is relatively unknown. Cahalan's experience changed her life beyond recognition as she struggles with remembering who she was before her diagnosis in relation to who she is now. Her story speaks as a powerful message to those suffering with brain damage, and her book is an absolute must-read.